You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News headlines. We're at 23 straight days of COVID increases here in Maryland. We're just under 3.8% positivity tonight. That's the highest it's been since early May. Transmission levels are at their highest right now in Dorchester and Wicomico counties. This is according to the CDC. Transmission levels are at substantial levels at 15 counties statewide, including Anne Arundel County, Baltimore City, and Baltimore County. We saw 890 new cases yesterday. That's the highest since May 1st. Eight more people are in the hospital. Four more Marylanders have also died from the virus. Tax-free week is right around the corner. It starts on August 8th and there's a great chance to get some new school supplies for the kids. Some articles of clothing and shoes priced $100 or less will be tax exempt. Backpacks also tax free up to $40. The Comptroller's Office partnered with the Maryland Retailers Association to offer scholarships to college students in the state. All those students have to do is film a video promoting tax free week and submit it by August 15th. And speaking of school, for the first time in nearly six decades, there is a new Catholic school in the city of Baltimore. Mother Mary Lang Catholic School opened its doors today. The school will teach 400 students when the school year starts in a couple of weeks. The new school has a full STEM suite, which will serve students in grades pre-K through eight, most of who come from areas of need inside the city. The downtown Baltimore school is built where the Lexington Terrace housing complex once stood. That complex became notorious on the HBO series, The Wire. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And temperatures are going to be a little bit milder tonight, only bottoming out into the upper 60s and the lower 70s across central Maryland. And for tomorrow, we are going to actually be on the cooler side in a way. A lot of us only expected to cap out into the lower to mid 80s tomorrow. Yes, so that's slightly below normal for this time of year. And we can thank some of that cloud cover that's going to be drifting in throughout the morning hours as we progress around 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that's when we'll start to see some of those rain showers uh, slide in, mainly impacting areas along the lower end of the eastern shore. Uh, so keep an eye to the sky for tomorrow, especially if you're going to be out on the water, turning very hot, very humid as we head into next week with that chance for some showers and storms as we head into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day. We'll bring you updates on top stories as well as breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in your app store. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.